What's up, Mets fans? Welcome back. Talking Mets and Rob. How's everybody doing? So before I get started uh, talking about the possible trade between the Mets and the club, the Cubs, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to press the like button. And if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, guys. So there's been a lot of chatter the last couple of days, about a week, about a possible trade involving the Mets and the Chicago Cubs. Buster only uh, tweeted uh, not too long ago that there's been a little bit of dialogue between the Mets and the Cubs involving a trade. He also said that it's a big possibility that the Mets could get Chris Bryant. It was a source that he uh, spoke to that is not related or close to the situation between the Mets and the Cubs, but has heard that there could be a possible trade between the Mets and the Cubs. So who are these players that are involved between the Mets and the Cubs? Well, I want to first start off by showing you what the, the possible trade scenario would look like. So what this would do is the Mets would get Chris Bryant and Kyle Hendricks. Those are the two players that will be involved on the Cubs side going to the Mets. And on the Cubs, the Mets side, who the Cubs would get would be Brandon Nimmo, Brett Beatty, and Ronnie Mauricio. Now, the minor leaguers can change. Possibly uh, Matthew Allen could uh, uh, switch Brett Beatty. It really depends on um, – exactly what the Cubs are looking for. There hasn't been a lot of information about that, but th this could be a trade possibility. So it would be Brandon Nimmo, Brett Beatty, or Matthew Allen and Ronnie Mauricio going to the Cubs for Chris Bryant and Kyle Hendricks. Now, would this be a trade that would put the Mets team over the top? Because you also get an all-star caliber player at third base, offensively and defensively in Chris Bryant. But you also began a Kyle Hendricks, who actually had a really good year the past two seasons. And to really look into it a little bit more, it kind of shows that this trade scenario could be a possibility because it's a necessity that the Mets could use at third base because it seems like the Mets are not in favor of J.D. Davis playing third base every day. So it becomes a possibility that Chris Bryant could be an option, even if it is for one year, because he only got one year left on his contract. But the interesting thing to look at with Kyle Hendricks is that he has four more years left. He has a couple of more years uh, with the contract he signed with the Cubs for four years, 55 million. He's, he would be under control from 2021 all the way to 2024. He does get paid $14 million over the next three years and then $16 million the last year. But Kyle Hendricks was really, really good the last two seasons. To look at it, in 2019, he had a 3.46 ERA. He was very good for this Cubs team. And in 2020, he had a 2.88 ERA, so he got even better. And in 2019, that was, in, that was with 30 starts. And in 2020, that was with 12 starts in the shortened season. So it's really interesting to look at exactly what this team, this trade can possibly mean for the Mets. Yes, we lose Brandon Nimmo, but that also turns into the situation um, that a video I will be doing about Jackie Bradley Jr. That the, that's going to be a real possibility for center field. What it does, it, it gets rid of the Mets uh, money when it comes to Brandon Nimmo and it basically offsets what you would give to Jackie Bradley Jr. And he obviously is a better center fielder defensively than Brandon Nimmo. So Jackie Bradley Jr., because it is shaken, can come into the fold rather quickly because the Mets are in a need for a center fielder. And that leaves Dominic Smith in left field that there is no DH. So you can have Jackie Bradley Jr. in center, Dominic Smith in left, Chris Bryan in third, and Kyle Hendricks at the end of this rotation. So... There's a lot of possibilities here because this also leads to Trevor Bauer, which I'm also going to be doing another video about rather shortly. So look out for that, guys. The Jackie Bradley Jr. video and the Trevor Bauer video. So with Chris Bryant and Kyle Hendricks could be a could 
involve more moves in the coming weeks when it comes to Jackie Bradley Jr. Be, uh, signing with the Mets to fill that void that we have in center field. And that would, that would put Dominic Smith in left field as the everyday left fielder. But what does this do to Steven Matz? This trade would ultimately, including possibly the Bauer signing, that is another uh, situation that has been uh, coming up lately uh, with talks between the Mets and Bauer. Steven Matz looks like he's not going to be very much involved with this Mets team. It looks like he's going to be gone. And because I say that, is that if Steven Matz is going to be traded for a salary dump, Chad would probably fit into that spot right now. I mean, sorry, not Chad, but uh, Kendrick would fit into that spot right now. So there's a lot of possibilities if this trade can go down. Now, I don't think this trade is going to happen very soon. I think this might actually uh, happen after the Bauer situation unfolds with the Mets, possibly in the Mets signing uh, Trevor Bauer. That's when I think this trade is going to actually pick up some steam. So to recap, the possible trade scenario, the Mets will get Chris Bryant and Kyle Hendricks for Brandon Nimmo, Britt Beatty, and Ronnie Mauricio. This is a possible trade scenario that could happen very soon, guys. So I want you guys to look out for that. Don't forget to check the other videos that I'll be posting about Trevor Bauer about St and Steven Matz and about Jackie Bradley Jr. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video. And if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Let's go Mets.